Hi, my name is Ron Rayleigh. I'm the Agency Liaison for Perimeter Solutions, or FOSCHEC. To answer the question about why in the world would we want to use long-term fire retardant on initial attack, it goes back to the question about California's fire problem. And 98% of all of our fires that we attack across the state are suppressed on initial attack with the capability we have right now. Combination of engines, air tankers, helicopters, hotshot crews, bulldozers. But California finds themselves in these situations infrequently where we end up with very high fire danger. Santa Ana winds, foreign winds, north winds, sundowners and so forth that will hit. Under these conditions, when a fire ignites, they very quickly exceed any threshold of human intervention. And I'm sure you guys have seen this before. So it's very important under those types of conditions to make sure that all the agencies work together in cooperation to make a robust initial attack with all the tools, including long-term retardant, to make sure we suppress that fire at its very small, uh, smallest size. And what long-term fire retardant buys for you is that it will work not only when it's wet, but it's also going to work when it's dry. So when applied to these types of fires, it's going to give time for your initial attack resources to respond and get it set up and make an efficient, effective initial attack.